Spectacular Delivering Happiness at South by Southwest. We're here with Pornima Vijay Shankar, and she's got a new company that you just, are you just, did you just launch it, or how long has it been out? So I started working on it in January of 2010, okay. and then we officially launched the product in December of last year. And it's Busy Bee? Correct. The concept behind Busy Bee is that we help small businesses that have large communities and deal with all of the logistics behind it. Um, the simplest case is a yoga studio, and so that's our first vertical. We are going out there to help yoga studios manage all of their customers, so we help them track their membership to help retain them after the intro specials, and then beyond that make sure that they come to workshops. We also help them with payments so that they know how much money they're making month over month. Um, so it's basically meant to be an integrated solution and be very simple for anyone who's running a studio to use. I think it's just doing something that I love. If it's something I love I jump out of bed probably earlier than like the rest of the world <laughs> and uh, I just want to get started. Um, more recently, you know, we've got a lot of customers and they give us a lot of great feedback. Um, one of our customers wrote in and said that she thanked the universe that there's a busy bee now. So little things like that just kind of make my life a lot easier and when you're in the thick of things and you're like, oh, is this worth it? Then, you know, people like that kind of help you through it. There are a significant number of engineers that um, that I've had uh, experiences with. So one of them is my professor from undergrad. She was just a really strong um, female engineer and I really liked the way she presented herself and cared about her students um, and took the, pa the time and the patience to teach them. So she's one inspirational figure. Everybody is obsessed with mobile, but I think mobile in like a couple different packages, right? So we get a lot of small business owners that ask us for iPad apps. They ask us for iPhone apps. Everybody just wants to be on these really small devices that they can tote around everywhere. And primarily because people are also getting mobile. They're not just sitting in one spot and working all the time. Um, so I see a lot of innovation in that. And then along those lines, um, developers are trying to develop the tools so that people can produce products in that space a lot faster and easier. I'd actually like to start seeing more stuff in biotech. Um, I don't see a whole lot in the consumer space there. Um, it's actually a dream of mine to, to get into that space. It's probably going to be my next startup after Busy Bee. Actually, the initial product that we put out for Busy Bee in August of last year was one that was focused, it was very horizontal. So we built it so that it appealed to all small businesses, and we actually didn't end up appealing to anybody. And that's when I decided that we were going to get focused and just concentrate on the yoga market and then once we did that we started to see a lot more traction you know we got customers who wanted the product were willing to pay for it and we started to grow so it was okay and I think it was a worthwhile experience but yeah anytime you try to please too many people you end up failing I think some people try to keep starting things their own they're by themselves and then they keep failing and then get burnt out so instead of that I don't think there's any shame in going and playing a supporting role initially and then learning and then starting something of your own get out there and talk about your ideas as much as possible with anyone and everyone um, including the end user you know for me busy bee isn't a product that I use every day it's for somebody else and so getting validation early on is very important it can save you a lot of time and money Thank you.